It is September 2021, just six months before the full-scale global war. Six months after that the Russian forces will try to land on exactly this spot to take over Odessa city. Hari Krishna devotees from Odessa Yatra of Iskon are gathering together at a retreat for the leaders of Namahats, or small groups, of the Yatra. It was just a week in advance of the largest, in the Western world Hari Krishna festival Bhakti Sangam, just a few kilometers away. Devotees really enjoyed association, and, a beautiful surroundings, outings, interactive games and a variety of other devotional programs inspired them and gave them energy to continue their services. Hard to imagine that in just six months a large-scale premeditated invasion under the false premises of denazification will be started. What is even more worrying is that their brothers and sisters, also Hare Krishna is devotees from Russia, will be so much under the influence of Russian state propaganda that they will not only cut all the contacts but even promote ISKCON conscription in the occupational army for the fellow Krishna devotees Russia to fight against Ukrainians who defend their children in their homes. Two nearby temples will be destroyed and thousands of devotees in Ukraine will be forced to emigrate. It is unknown when the peace will come back to Odessa. One may ask if this is the past that you cannot return. The most successful project of the movement is not coming back. In reality we do not know the future, but the future will never be like the past. All hopes are with Ukrainian devotees who now struggle to get together, but still 10 groups still get together regularly in a city that is often deprived of electricity and water supply, and when heating systems are not functioning on the global scale in Ukraine, all prayers are with them and it is up to you to make a difference. Do not remain silent against aggression, help them rebuild, support Ukraine, all glories to Ukrainian devotees.